Hi, YouTube. I'm not going to be able to complete this video today because we're running out of daylight. And we don't have enough lighting inside the cabin. And I was playing around with the tablet and it took me too long. But what I do want to cover, that's my son Shelby. What I do want to cover in my next video is if you care for another adult, like I care for my son Shelby, he's artistic. And um, if you care for any adult, if you're the care provider, and regardless of what type of disability they have, whether it's uh, an intellectual disability or physical disability, there's a variety of ways to bathe them. And when bathing a child is real easy because children are usually cooperative and, um, you know, they'll just follow your lead and they're smaller. But adults, sometimes they might not feel like it or they might not mind you giving them a bath, but they don't want to stand up. They might want to sit down they, or if they have a disability or if they're um, ill to the point where they can't move to de demobilize, you may want to give them a big bath. <laughs> And some of these baths I wanted to cover, there's a lot of ways to bathe the person, but bathing the person is very important because bathing keeps you healthy, it keeps parasites um, off your skin, and it makes you feel good, but it's also a very personal thing, so you want to be compassionate, you want to be patient, you want to be gentle, and you want to make it as pleasant as possible when you're bathing um, someone else whether it's a child or an adult it's just more challenging when it's an adult because you have to go with how they feel you have to consider how they feel what mood they're in for the day and things like that and um and their size shelby is six foot one so um shelby is six one and i'm five six so that sometimes is a challenge for us for me, and um, I have to stand, sometimes I have to stand up on a step stool while he's standing in the shower or standing in the bathtub. And But okay, I'm gonna go over um, the different variety of baths that you can do, and also to make it easier on yourself. Sometimes it might, um, if you're dealing with lower back pain or something yourself while you're caring for someone else, you want um, the procedure to go as smooth as possible too. And although you don't want to rush it, rush through giving someone else a bath, you don't want to. You don't want them to feel embarrassed. You don't want them to feel like their privacy is being invaded, um, especially when you're not related to the person or if you're married to the person. You know, it's a very intimate um, thing to give someone else a bath. So you might want to cover up parts of the body that you're not washing at that time and just um, uncover the parts of the body that you're currently washing. But real quick, um, bathing, standing in the tub, if they don't have any kind of physical disability and they're strong and you, you don't have to worry about them getting dizzy and passing out or, you know, anything of that nature, getting too weak or, you know, um, their blood pressure going up too high and they might pass out or something like that. If you don't have those concerns, then, you know, they can just step into the tub and, you know, you can wash them down from head to toe and it's pretty simple. Um, but if they're feeling kind of weak or if they're very um, advanced in age, you know, and um, if they have any type of physical health issues, you might want to escort them to the tub and let them sit in in the chair in the tub and, and while they're in the chair it could be a, a orthopedic chair but it could also be just a regular plastic um, school chair as long as the chair is big enough to accommodate them and um, and made of plastic so you know it'll be fine to have a chair in the water and also while they're sitting in the chair they can take a shower or you can um, give them a bath and um, you also you might want to just wear something that you don't mind getting wet or you know you might even want to um, wear. You might want to cover yourself if you if you're concerned with getting wet. You know, a lot of times care providers are wearing um, 
or what are those things called? Well, you know what I'm talking about. They're wearing those two-piece. Oh, I can't even think of it right now. But anyway, a lot of times um, care providers, they're wearing um, scrubs. And, you know, and so if you, but if you don't mind getting wet, you know, or if you do, um, if you are concerned about getting wet, you might want to just um, cut a hole in the plastic bag and, you know, and cover yourself in a plastic bag, you know, or, or buy a, one of those, um, you know, just cover yourself. But really, most of the time, care providers are really not concerned with getting wet, you know, because, you know, you can always change your clothes or just let them dry, you know, it's just soap and water. Okay, and um, so you have the standing position, you have the chair position in the bathtub. And you also, some people require a bid bath. Where now this is when you um, just cover the, the bid in plastic. The patient never gets out of the bed, you know, I mean, maybe because he can't get out of the bed. So the, if the patient can never get out of the bed, you just gently roll him over. Um, if if you require, if the patient need two people to help them roll, be ro rolled over, then maybe on bath day, um, this is when a second care provider will come in to assist you. But um, for the most part, if you can gently roll the, the patient over, or as we say, your client over, and you can use your um, the bed sheets to help roll them over, and lay the plastic down and then go on the other side of the bed and use the bed sheet to roll them towards you again and spread out the plastic. Because basically you're just protecting the mattress and you can um, always change the sheets, but you don't want the mattress to get too wet. So um, you lay your plastic underneath the client to protect the mattress and then you proceed with giving them a sponge bath in the bed from head to toe and it depends on what type of soap and um, what type of soap they use, what type of soap they like, um, the temperature they like their water, and um, but basically, you know, you use your towel to wash their face, and um, if you're exfoliating, you might use a sponge uh, of their preference on their face, and you basically, you know, you gently scrub their bodies from head to toe. And you turn them over as need be to um, wash their back and underarms and private areas and everything. So you make sure everything is clean. So, because um, most care providers don't bathe their clients every day if it's not necessary or if they don't request it. Um, here in Texas, um, I give Chevy a bath every day, but sometimes it's a uh, different type of bath. Sometimes it's a partial bath, sometimes it's what. I call a puzzle bath, and this is one thing I have here. Um, okay, we also, okay, we covered the chair bath, the tub bath, the standing and the sitting bath. Now we're going to cover the quick bath. And that's when, okay, once again, I'm going to cover where the person is able to get out of the bed, stand up, and stand in the tub, or stand in the portable tub. You can um, purchase a portable tub or the insurance may cover it, or you can also purchase, um, they do like we did, uh, we purchased a tub at um, this, I call it a hardware store, but it's more than a hardware store, McCoy's in Alpine, Texas. We purchased a portable tub, which is, it works real good for cooling off in the summertime and just bathing in general. But, um, so we, you have your client stand in the tub, and this is when you don't want to labor the person too long. You know, they might be impatient or they, they, their knees might be weak or their back might be hurting, they might be in some sort of pain. So you want to do it quick and, you know, so they can get back in the bed and get comfortable where they're safe, you, where you don't have to worry about them falling and, and injuring themselves. So um, this is where they're standing in the tub. You have the portable tub by the bed and you wash their face and their ears, their neck, under their arms, the private areas, and then you rinse them off. And after you rinse them off, you pat them dry, and as you pat them dry, you escort them back to the side of the bed so they can sit down and be safe so you don't have to um, 
be concerned about them falling and, and, and being injured. And so, um, and you can finish drying them down as they rest on the side of the bed. And then I also have what I call the puzzle bath. And this is where um, we're bathing or I'm bathing um, Shelby, different sections of Shelby. I'm, I'm getting him clamped up, but I'm not doing it all at once. He's um, impatient. Um, He's, he might be agitated. He might um, just be, um, you know, just not in the mood. You know, his attention span might be very short. But we, uh, so I'm trying to get it done, but now I'm not trying to do the whole thing. I'm not trying to overwhelm him with um, forcing him to take a bath all at once. So sometimes I do the puzzle bath, and this is where um, I wash different parts of his body at different times, and then I give him a break. And for, like for an example, um, Shelby, uh, we'll brush our teeth together, because that's, that's when um, we brush our teeth together so I can see that he's brushing his teeth and I can see that he's doing a decent job at it. And then after brushing our teeth, I, I will wash his face and his ears and his neck and then I um, put a shaving cream on and I shave him so now his face and his ears and from the neck up he's straight you know he, he's washed and shaved and um, then you know we'll take a break it should be a, do whatever he wants to do watch television and get on his laptop um, I might cook something to eat then we'll eat and then I, I might um, wash his hands I'll wash his hands and after washing his hands I'll go right into a manicure so that way you know we don't have to change positions he's already sitting down his hands are always his um, cuticles are already soft from the soap the warm soap and water I give him a manicure so now his hands are done okay and so um, now it's time for another break so um, you know we just do whatever we want to do, uh, watch a little television, and what what I have here. Okay, then I will come back and I will prepare the water for a pedicure. So now um, he hasn't had a full bath, but his face, his ears, um, his oral, oral hygiene is taken care of. His hands are uh, washed and manicured, he's shaved, his feet are clean, he's had a pedicure. So, um, but it's not all at once, it's just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, take a break, because, you know, he might not be having a good day. So I don't want to overwhelm him, so I'm, we just, and, he, and, and then in my case, um, Shelby enjoys these things. He enjoys pedicures and manicures. And um, I think he enjoys being shaved as well. Um, but I know he, at least he does tolerate it. But I know he for sure that he does um, really like pedicures and manicures. So after that, I might go, go just go on and, and give him a bath. But at this point, the bath is pretty simple because his face, hand, and, hands, and feet are already clean. And so now I just have to um, wet him down, soap him up under his arms, wash his torso and his arms and his legs and his private areas, get everything clean, rinse him off, um, give him a big bath towel to dry, you know, to pat off, to, to pat dry. And um, sometimes he can do that part himself. And then he's all done. But this way um, he can enjoy it. We've taken our time. Um, he's not being overwhelmed and you know he's having fun and so by the time he's getting tired like if by the time I finish shaving him is right around the time where he um, want me to go back to my end of the cabin and so we're all done so um, he can take a break and have a snack and um, get on his laptop and you know, it just more, he's getting clean in a very um, relaxed fashion. And it's slow, you know, it, he, he's not, you know, it's instead of being 
taking a bath and being done with it in 20 minutes is it might take us four hours but um we're not in a rush we're not trying to go anywhere anyway so um we're usually not in a rush so it doesn't matter so you know you don't want to agitate your client or your son or your um your sibling or your parent or the grandparent any whoever it is that you're taking care of you don't want to agitate them unnecessarily now sometimes you're going to have those good days you won't have those good days and um you know they're they're up for everything and anything and they feel good they feel strong and um you know they can walk to the bathroom they can step into the bathtub but then sometimes you know it depends on your client and it depends on um their overall health and what type of strength that they have you know sometimes they might have to be escorted to the tub um, Sometimes they can stand in the tub. Sometimes they may have to sit in the tub. Sometimes they might um, need a cheer bath where you bathe them in the cheer. You bathe them. Basically, you're doing the same thing as if the cheer was in the bathtub, except they're in a cheer, and um, preferably a recliner chair. And um, you put some plastic down to protect the chair from getting wet. And you just give them a bath that way. You give them a sponge bath. And the key to it is having a good um, a sponge, a, a good fat sponge that you can get from the Dollar Tree. That's, um, that I, I like those. I like those. But you can use a towel, which, whichever one you're most familiar with and your client is uh, most comfortable with, that's what you use. And um, you use a mouth so because you know especially if you don't know their skin and their reaction to different detergents you use a mouth soap and also when shampooing your client's hair you can you have a variety of ways of doing it too you want to make the bathing process as easy on your client as you possibly can and as easier on yourself as you possibly can because um everyone that's a care provider is not 19 years old you know, some of us, you know, we're up there. I'm Chevy's mom, so you know, I was, you know, sometimes I might not be um, feeling. I might not have as much energy, or my back might be kind of bothering me. So I want to make the process as easy, as easy as, <laughs> as easy as myself as well. Okay, and um, but the shampoo, and yes, you can also. You can do the shampoo in the shower. Um, I really like the chair shampoo because um, your client can relax. So, you know, like if your client don't have a recliner, maybe that is something that um, you guys can make arrangements to um, get a, a, a recliner for your client. Um, you can get one used. Um, you can go to, um, I, we get lots of furniture from Deja Vu, the drift store. And um, and maybe even um, Medicare uh, might even consider um, purchasing a recliner mm -hmm. for your client. You know, check into those things. You know, maybe the client can afford a just you know just can flat out afford buying a brand new recliner. Um, but if not, maybe they can find um, a nice one. Or maybe the care provider, you or another family member can um, find a recliner at the drift store um, you know or, or any type of secondhand place and you know get one real cheap and the Craigslist is a good, Craig, Craigslist is a good place to look because one thing I like about Craigslist people are a lot of times people on Craigslist are just trying to get rid of this you know get rid of different things a lot of times they're just trying to get rid of furniture they're just trying to get rid of um, vehicles and um, you know they they might not be giving it away you know they might want a couple of hundred dollars for a, a car they might uh, we actually bought a van for nine hundred dollars and we've had that van um, we bought it in 19 in 2014 so we've had it for over five years going on six years and um, for nine hundred dollars, 
and um, so Craigslist is a good place. You, and you can also find free furniture on Craigslist. And you also have um, business people have started to advertise on Craigslist, which I don't think that is fair. 